Welcome back, Officer Publix. Of course, on our role police chief, it begins. I've been getting a lot of questions, obviously, about should I continue with what I was previously farming? Should I do the Ray SOKR grind? Should I make some of the tertiary auxiliary backbone teams that you can kind of create out of the, the stuff you get from the bundles? What should I do? And I kind of want to cover all of that in this video and just quickly hit on all the angles. So whatever you decide to do, wherever you decide to be with what you were farming, with, with what you plan on doing in the future, you kind of get a sense for... Uh, what directions you can go into so um, the things that you still kind of need to do a little bit for Ray and SLKR obviously SLKR requires having the finalizer and they didn't sell a finalizer pack I know they did sell a Ray resistance um, Radis pack for the ship um, all things being equal I still think that majority of the players would benefit more from having Ray earlier than Kylo, and that's just a fact that defensive Galactic Legends have inherently more value than offensive ones. Um, you got to bump up BB-8 and Ray a little bit uh, for Ray to actually, you know, finish her requirements, which is not the end of the world. They're all right characters in the end of the thing. In the grand scheme of things, uh, <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Still saves you a year of your life. Um, you can go in and you can build a little bit of a Zori team. Zori is a very powerful backbone character. Occasionally catches a good Datacron here and there that makes her really, really good, but uh, even without data crons, definitely something worth having um, across the board. Gives you two strong teams. Another thing you can get out of the Radis pack, uh, we'll talk about SLK in a little bit, is one of the more annoying and potent mid game defensive backbone teams. Uh, you might hear like an end game player scoff at this team because when you when you fight it, the AI is terrible at fighting it. But um, you know when you when you have every character in the game at high relics, obviously there's not a lot that that kind of stumps you. But for those of you guys who are early mid game players who took advantage of this pack. Uh, maybe even bought the um, maybe even bought the SLKR, not the SLKR, the uh, Star Killer pack to get Dash Rendar. Even if you don't, um, if you're in a position to build up this squad, it's definitely a squad that I'm going to build up immediately after I finish the Ray SLKR grind. Um, strong on defense, very annoying, especially with Zori. If you can combine adding Zori plus this, even outside of the two Galactic Legends that you're adding to your roster, <laughs> even that probably would be worth the money that you spent on the light speed bundles because of the. The amount of flexibility it's going to allow you to have simply by adding two extra powerful, very tough, very durable, very long-term oriented defensive backbone teams um, in the Dash Rendar, Hondo, L3, Vandor, and Fuse Nest uh, team in the Zori Bliss squad as well. Um, so as far as what you can kind of build out of that, that's, that's most of what you're going to build out of it. As far as what you should do... Um, if you're in a position like I am where you're actively farming a Galactic Legend, doesn't it obviously doesn't have to be Leia. I know a lot of people are farming Leia right now because she's cool and the new hotness, but if that character was JMK or Jabba or JML or whatever that character might have been, um, I'm currently recommending to most players, continue to actively fill out that Galactic Legend because unless they were rare SLKR, um, they're probably going to still be a very valuable addition to your to your roster. So what I'm doing is I'm actively still farming out you know, the, the, the teams that I had planned. And then I'm doing kind of like a passive Ray SOKR. And I know it's kind of hard to think, it's kind of hard to wrap our brains around passively farming two Galactic Legends at the same time. Um, but a lot of that looks like slowly grinding up the tickets just by the energy that you're spending here. Not going too crazy on refreshes. I'm going into the hundreds. I'm doing the, the 350s and the 300s. Um, but I'm not going into 200s. If I was doing like a solo Galactic Legend unlock event, I probably would have gone into the 200s. And honestly, I probably should have because I'm only, uh, I'm only, what is it, uh, like 50 shards away. And I could probably spend all of my crystals and get Ray today, lock into Grand Arena with Ray, which would be cool. Um, actually, I might do that. No, it's an hour. I, it, it, honestly, I probably would have done that on stream, to be perfectly honest with you. I probably, if that was something I was going to do, I probably would have done that live on a video. Um, but, but yeah, I, I would kind of passively farm up Ray and then into into Kylo. Continue to farm your normal farms as, as standard. Um, if you are just starting a big project or you're coming off a big project or you're in that kind of limbo phase where you don't really know where you're going to go, a lot of players were kind of voicing to me prior to these packs coming out that they're in kind of a space where they didn't exactly know what they were doing. Um, this could be a great opportunity, kind of like a once in a lifetime opportunity, if you will, to like go back and do a lot of the other out of the way stuff. Um, excuse me. I think a lot of players are going to get value. What do I mean by that? 
I mean, the one-offs, I mean, like this would now is like the best time in the game to farm Afra, for instance, you know what I mean? Um, excuse me, sorry. Um, now is like the best time in the world to be farming Afra, and I might even make a separate video on that because I just love Afra so much. Or if there's like an out of the way auxiliary team like that you were trying to build up, like um, you know, if you're missing a core team, now is a great time to finish up those. If there's like an auxiliary team, like uh, Imperial Troopers or a Qui Gon or God forbid a Geos or an Iden Versio, like now is a great time to get a seven star relic Iden Versio and do a little bit of grinding into the defender to get that defender up for your Chimera fleet. Um, working on, I mean, this team kind of uh, doesn't really exist anymore. Um, but working on those side projects like uh, we talked about earlier um, with like the L3s and the Vandors and the Enfys Nest, like now is the perfect time to start building up this stuff if you weren't doing any serious projects because you're going to passively acquire Galactic Legends, which is never going to ever happen again unless they decide to do like a Sith Eternal JML bundle, which would be cool, but you know, would probably be a year from now. Um, so a lot of the characters that you might have been slacking on is a good time uh, another example of something you can do is if there's situations where um you know now's a great time for mandalorians obviously as well like if there's teams where you're one off from you know being able to use a good defensive datacron or you know like you have your k2so for your admiral Rats, which makes this team way better um now would be a great time to like pick up those one-off characters that you're really struggling and missing from um from certain teams I think this is going to be, obviously it's the Rapocalypse, but this is going to be kind of hopefully remembered as a time where a lot of rosters like sanded down the edges, if that makes sense, where players are finding things that they never thought they'd be able to fix about their accounts and being able to specifically take the time to spend and develop those parts of their, their accounts while passively just acquiring tickets for, for two powerful uh, teams in the game, obviously, in, in Ray and SLKR. Um, I think post Leia, post Cal Kestis, that's probably going to be something I'm doing. I'm going to get into a little bit of the Malico Sir Junda team, build up an Ufu team, build up obviously that Dash Rendar team we looked, talked about, build up maybe Imperial Super Commando for that Dark Side Maul team if they decide to put out a character as a Lord Vader lifter that puts that kind of puts Maul out of commission. Um, kind of ironing out those those uh, chinks in the armor. Is it kinks in the armor or chinks in the armor? I don't know. I heard someone say chinks in the armor, and I know that that's not right. And kinks in the armor sounds too kinky to me. Um, but whatever the thing in the armor that is a white person analogy for not being perfect, now is the the absolute perfect time for you to kind of go around. And then, God forbid, if you have a fucking Reva, <laughs> now is a good time to start building her up as well. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, guys. I got to go. I got a bunch of stuff to do. As always, I love you, and I'll see you later.